Tarot 888. This message is for Pisces. Now you can have Pisces anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Anywhere in your chart. And Pisces. This message may resonate with you or maybe just a piece. Take what does and send the rest to the universe. Let it be for someone else. Look at this. I try to I try to shuffle and it just fell out. And they want me to show you this. PCs, right now, look at this. You and your Queen of Swords energy. Mm, you're looking at things twice. Mm -hmm. And your angel is guiding you. You're not letting shit fly. I'm hearing time's up. For some of you guys, this particular card is... I'm channeling that it's what you've been writing. By this time, I'm going to do this. By this time. And if it's in love, because I heard time's up. Time's up. You've looked towards the past. You've waited and waited patiently is what I'm hearing. And your angel has been right there guarding you. For some of you, this angel was like, it's time's up, baby, a long time ago. But in Virgo season... It's almost like this blue moon energy just caused this shift in you, Pisces. And yes, you're taking another chance. See? Because right here it says the Eight of Cups. And you're not going to let go of what you have on this list. See, this would have been you walking away. But you're not walking away with you have. I mean, I heard goals that you have set. And these goals were set with the universe. Look, your guardian angel is what I'm hearing. Wow. Now, this hand over here, we saw and we're seeing the seven of pentacles. After you make this decision, or while you were making this decision, maybe you gave somebody a time frame where you gave yourself like, all right, if things, you know, this particular person or this situation, you know, comes around maybe i'll maybe i'll consider it and in the meantime this is what you were doing and for a lot of you pisces this is what you were doing in this in behind the scenes is what i'm hearing the seven of pentacles it's like the universe was guiding you on a project it's like you were working on something see that's what i'm hearing you were working on something but time is up time is up for somebody if this is how you feel, if you're picking up on this energy, or you're feeling this energy, put it in the comments. Time's up. See, time's up. You've been through this ten of swords, and it's your time to shine, is what I'm hearing. Your angels are right there looking like, all right, you've been through all this pain. It's time for you to get up and move on. And for a lot of you guys, I'm hearing, don't worry about anything. Because some of you guys have a little bit of doubt on what's about to happen next. Now I'm hearing God is about to answer all your prayers. Maybe you're wondering what's next on your journey. See, you've been in two of wands right here. Just all up in your head. What is next? What is this? What's going to happen? And the devil has this energy right here. And you're still wondering. And you're still worrying. And you're still praying. But I'm hearing Felicians or Philippians or Felicians or something like that. Four, verse six or seven or both. And that's God's promise when it comes to your spiritual journey. So some of y'all might need to research that. Some of you guys will get all your secrets through these verses that I'll be throwing on here. I'm just guided to say them. But some of you guys are worried and are afraid, like I said, of your next step. On what's going to happen you know, on your spiritual journey. But your ancestors are all right here. And they're trying to get to you. And they're trying to get your attention. You can see how their hands are right there. Keep moving forward. They want you to keep moving forward. And they're guiding you to the light. Because some of you guys have been stuck in darkness. But you're about to set these ancestors free. They're cheering you on. And this puts the... Look, we saw the devil in this energy earlier. And it puts the devil in the upside down. It's almost like you're getting out of this... 
this doubt, because some of you guys are doubting your craft. This is your energy. This is what I'm picking up, Pisces. You're in this energy, and, and while you're in this energy, how can you move forward? The universe don't want that, nor does your ancestors. Look, your ancestors are cheering you on. And you're over here like this, and if this is in love, you're about to receive this message. Look, your angels are going to direct you on which way to go. The Eight of Wands, there's communication coming in. For some of you guys, whew, as you're walking through the valley of death or this storm, it's like you're, you're wondering, where is God? But a lot of you guys are wanting to know the outcome. And God will give you some clues, the universe. But he wants you to know and to remember he is with you wherever you go. And he will be with you. That's God's promise that I keep hearing. Do no wrong on me. 31 verse 8. Something you're going to find in that. Just. Let's see. What else do we have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising. Anywhere in your chart. For some of you guys, they don't want you to hold on to this pain. This hurt. Surrender it. Let it go. And give it to God. The universe. Some of you guys, you're going to find, you're going to see with your own eyes, you're on the verge of receiving a blessing. And you're going to realize God had something better for you. Big time. All right, let's see. Look at this, the Hierophant. And the magician, Pisces, what's going on with you? You're off on your manifestation. And you see, look, the hierophant. It's almost like God, the universe is telling you to let go of the ink, the outcome. He's not asking you to figure it out. Some of you guys are trying to figure out some situation. And he's just asking you to trust, to trust in the process. Even through your darkest moments. And look, your ancestors are right there. Just trust the process. And all your difficulties. Here, they want me to use. Let's get out of this energy. Let's look. This, let's pull two more cards. We're going to pull them out. See, you're holding on to something. Something you're holding on. To. I'm hearing resentment. Maybe something that somebody hurt you. And you're being the queen the queen of swords. You ain't taking no bullshit as you shouldn't. But there's something that is holding you back from moving forward. All right, let's, let's, switch, let's switch up these decks. We're going to go, let's go with this one. Let's see, what do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere you chart? All right, look at this. We're going to go with these that fell. All of these fell. So look, the first one you got, Hermit. Pisces, are you dealing with your 1-7? The number 9 is going to be significant. Maybe you guys are born on the 9th. But the universe wants you to go within and wants you to put him first. Through this journey, he separated you for a reason. And some of you guys feel alone. All alone, wondering, but God has got you. But even then, you're still discontent a little bit. And it has to do with your spiritual journey. It's like, when are this situation going to turn around? And the universe is asking you and letting you know right now, maybe you have... This is going to be your clarity. In four days, you're going to see something shift. You're going to look at the celebration that's coming. You're going from isolation, spending time with God, the universe, your ancestors. Before I put it down, they were like, and us too. To going to this happiness. 
this joy. This is something that you've been manifesting. This is something that you know, but you're trying to find out when it is. But the universe wants you to stay strong. You may be dealing with the Leo. And this caught my attention. Look, that infinite. And with this card right, right before it, is the universe wants you to keep this positive imagination, your vibes, just something with, to do with your vibes. You're manifesting good things. Stay strong. You're almost, you're almost out of this situation. Look, you're rising above it. Maybe you guys are not reacting to a situation or you're being not to, not to even react to what the devil may put in your head or imagination. But look at this, you're rising above and you may be all up in your head. But for, for what I'm getting from this with the Ace of Swords, you're going within and you're mastering your ability to keep your mental your positive, your positivity in here, in your mind. You see how she's looking up. By you staying positive, you're getting all this negative energy that people are sending to you. Pisces, if you're dealing from somebody from the past, they don't understand how you keep leveling up. Look at the darkness right here. How you keep rising up and look. This is you looking to the sky and you're trusted in the universe. And this is you even with all the negativity they send. This black magic, whatever negativity they sent to you. And look, the universe is shining the light. But it's you doing the work as well. And it's almost like a return to sender. And what does this mean? The last card right here is that you're about to co-create or you have been co-creating with the universe. And you're finding this magic within you. And for a lot of you guys, too, you have somebody from your past that can't stand you being in this energy. You don't even talk to this particular person. And I'm hearing, look, they're sitting there pissed off, crying and whining all alone. This particular person could have betrayed you, could have, could have abandoned you. Man or female. But they're all up in their emotions, watching you co-create. How the tables have turned is what I'm hearing. This was you, how they abandoned you. And now they're in this energy right here. The five of cups. In the sorrow, they're like, shit, I screwed up with Pisces. Some of y'all are dealing with the fire sign. It is all up in their feelings. The fire sign, I'm um, hearing Cancer or Pisces or Scorpio in, in their Venus. This particular person did magic on you. Did talk a lot of shit. You know, they, they were planning behind the scenes. Why? Because they seen you this happy, so... They want it to affect you. Look at this. But all you did is surrender and you gave it to God or you're being asked to. The Queen of Cups. Pisces, there's a lot of love that you have. There's a lot of love that you have. And when you got hurt, this was you. Look at this. You were hurt. Some of you guys drank your ass off. And I'm hearing Pisces, you, when you give love, look at this. Look how passionate this dress is. For some of you guys, this particular person might have even stood you up. And you were so excited. Let's see. Why, why did Pisces get, if for the ones that got stood up? Let's see. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Pisces, for the ones that got stood up. Because I'm hearing some of you guys got stood up or... Gave you false hopes of this um, reunion for some of you guys. And you know it's retro, grade, whatever it is, look. Your intuition was off. You had false <laughs> hopes and it did bring you. This particular person, this particular person is hurt. This is why 
they might have sold you out and left you in this energy that they never came through. This particular person is still in their ego, but they're hurt. For a lot of you guys, this particular person thinks you're going to do them the same way, not knowing that you're healed. But this person is, is hurt. They're like, shit, Pisces is going to hurt me. This is causing you to close this cycle and wait on the universe to provide someone better for you. Mm -hmm, Pisces, what's going on in Virgo season? All right, let's see. All right, these two fell out. Look at this. Pisces, you're being asked to balance out your emotions. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Sagittarius, so you'll have a Sagittarius coming into your life. And look at this, very balanced and guided. This particular person is going to give you this equal give and take. Again, you have that infinite back and forth. And that's the balance that you, that you want. You don't want this heartbreak. All right, let's see. Let's get a couple of these cards. Pisces, sun, moon, rising. Any, anywhere in your chart, hit the like button, share, subscribe, help my channel grow. If this is your energy, pick it. Comment. I was going to say pick it up because it is a little low, but you, you're going to get through it. Pisces, sun, moon, rising. Let's see. Let's get a few of these. All right, these three fell out. It says, they didn't doubt you. They were afraid of who you would become. This particular person could have been your twin flame or you guys are seeing 1111. You will see God's favor upon you soon. And look, success is right behind there. We're gonna pull these right here and it says right here, trust the journey. They regret everything they did to you. Look, you might have been in this energy, but the universe is saying that they, they do regret it. Let me give you heads up. This particular person is, they want you. But they were afraid. It says, let me give you head or eat you out. They're horny, or this might have been you, and you were expecting them to come through, and look, they left you like this. If you're a man, they left you with blue balls. If you're a woman, you already know. They left you in this, con las ganas. But you're, you have the spiritual ascension. And it says right here, in July, so some of you guys may be dealing with somebody, or it might have happened in July. You guys may be dealing with a cancer or a Libra. It says, they know you know the truth, and it scares them. All right, we got two more. It says, major lesson. It says, major lesson. So some of you guys, lesson learned. Eh, this particular person was a gold digger, so God, the universe, took them out in April. And it says, ask yourself, what do you really want? And look, it says the best payback is getting yourself together and never looking back. They want you to forgive. And it says your grandma loves you and protects you. So some of you guys had a grandma. We said the ancestors are pushing you forward. They blocked this particular person is what I'm hearing. Yep, it was too much heartbreak that they were causing or they that they were going to cause to you. All right. Let's see. This energy's crazy for Pisces. You're feeling you want to heal. Look at these two cards. You want to go back to how you used to be. Because I'm all over on this reading. This energy's crazy. You want to heal and you want to go back. Some of you guys are praying and I'm hearing your, your prayers are being answered. You're going to go back to this energy. So let's see what we got. What message do we have from the universe? Let's just get one. Oh man, that's a lot. It says, I am sustained by love. It says, whatever you do, wherever you go, whoever you are with, let yourself be guided by the loving hands of the universe. Whew. See, some of you guys were doubting or are still doubting the spiritual journey. And that's why you're sitting here with these notes and you're journaling. And it's hard for you to move forward. 
because of this heartbreak and the way this particular person left you. But the universe and your ancestors, look, they're telling you to move forward, look into the light. This other card fell out. It says, I am lovable. So some of you guys are doubting that you're lovable. Pisces, come on. It says, the less I love myself, the harder it is for others to love me. The more I love myself, the easier it is for others to love me and for me to recognize how loved I am. Look at that. The last card, it says, I am creative. So some of you guys are through this process. You're in this energy co-creating with the universe and your angel right there. And they're telling you what is next. This is right here. Honor your unique gifts. Think of three ways you could express your creativity today. That's crazy, huh? Pisces. My throat chakra is closing up. I don't know if you're emotional or just the, the, the enemy don't want me to, to do your reading. Let's get this message out. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, anywhere in your chart. Oh my God, some, some of y'all are emotional. There's too many cards. Just one. All right, we're just gonna pull one. And it's, look, these two came out. It says right here. You can't heal a wound by saying it's not there. And that's why I was feeling this emotion trying to come over me. It says, some injuries, you really can't just walk off. But too many of us run around treating emotional compound fractures like a... Man, my throat chakra like a stub pinky too they ain't the same thing love if you ignore the big ouches they fester and get gangrene and give us permanent limps and shit do you have a big ouch that needs tending naming it is the first step of healing it maybe your wounds need some professional help don't do the gangrene amputation thing like it like that's so 2016 so some of you guys like i said there's there's a healing that i'm getting right here that this particular person might have did a number on you and that you are praying to the universe that you can return because Pisces, this is you. This is this is how the world seen you. For the last couple of years, you might have been hiding this. This it might have been upside down, and you've been praying behind. I'm hearing. Let me go back. I'm hearing that this is how the world you've been showing yourself to the world, but be, behind closed doors, this is really you. And some of you guys haven't even got out to the world, so they don't even know where you're at. The last thing they remember is Pisces used to be this particular person, this page of wands, always happy, go lucky, running around. And they missed that. But you're gonna come back stronger is what I'm hearing. The other one was this one, it says, Pretending to be a salvage won't heal that hole in your heart, baby. Oh, man, these cards don't lie. These two cards fell out. And like I said, when I started your, your reading, I just felt this. This energy of wanting to just, ooh, this emotional roller coaster. I'm thinking that you have somebody that did a lot that really hurt you that now is that magic is going back to them and they see you healing or, or you're healing you're in your healing process and they're about to begin this that black magic is going back and it says right here it says you you know who the real ogs are the ones who don't 
Hold on. It says, you know who the real OGs are. The ones who ain't got shit to hide from anyone, especially themselves. Real OGs claim their humanity. They hold those wounds up to the light like Montusu holding Simba. I guess from the Lion King. It says, can you hear that inspirational music starting? Yeah, that's you starting the hero journey, love bug. Look at this. Take a snapshot and check it out. So some of you guys, yes, there's a lot of healing that you're doing. The universe is telling you to get ready because you're about to come through this bitch is what I'm hearing. So that's what I got for you, Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Anywhere in your chart. Meditate. Let go of that pain, that hurt. And I'm being asked to tell you, express your testimony. Put it in the comments. Show us what you're going through, what you've accomplished or what you've overcome. Your testimony is going to help a lot of people. Some people that were suicidal is what I'm hearing. So, so express yourself. You're here to help humanity, Pisces. Your intuition is on point when you're out of this energy. So that's what I got for you. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment if this is you. Infinite Tarot, 888.